So who would win out of a battle between Starship Enterprise, the D-Class, and Millennium Falcon from Star Wars? I bet you're thinking it'll take one shot from that D-Class Enterprise to just waste that poor Millennium Falcon. See you later, Han Solo. But that may or may not be the case. See, I do my research. I do my research quite a bit, um, especially when it's sci-fi stuff. And uh, I got a bunch of books that uh, tell me uh, a little bit different of a story. Also, there's also the internet. I did a lot of internet researching. So, I got a lot of nerd facts from canon. And, I mean, it has to be canon. But I got a lot of research notes from there and I've put together the following amazing facts for anybody that doesn't have a life like myself. So right off the bat, being as the Enterprise D is 642 meters in length and the Millennium Falcon is only 34 meters, one would automatically assume that the Enterprise would destroy the Falcon in just one shot. There is some debate on the actual length of the Millennium Falcon, although all estimates place it significantly smaller than the Star Trek vessel. To get some understanding of the debate, visit the Wikipedia article that I'm going to post in the description. However, during the course of my Galactic Battles film, I did a lot of research about sci-fi weapons and real-world units, and it looks like the Millennium Falcon wouldn't go down without a fight. In fact, it might just outright destroy the Enterprise in one shot. This is why. I mean, if we want to get technical, the Enterprise's shield heat dissipation has a peak of 3,311 gigawatts, and the little tiny Millennium Falcon can dish out roughly 32,000 gigawatts, one kiloton per shot. But the issue with Star Wars is that it primarily used lasers, which are completely useless against the Enterprise's shields. Captain, they are now locking lasers on us. Lasers? Yes, sir. Lasers can't even penetrate our navigation shields, don't they know that? Adversely, the Millennium Falcon shield is so powerful over 2 billion gigawatt peak that the Enterprise's weapons would have little effect. The vessel appears undamaged, sir. Its defenses are apparently able to absorb incoming matter and energy. Not to mention the Millennium Falcon would have a bit more maneuvering points. So I think we're at a draw here. To be honest, this is nobody's fault. This is just due to the fact that the original writers for each show didn't bother cross-referencing other sci-fi franchises before coming up with their stats. And why would they? So that's why for the Galactic Battles film, we just had to ignore super technical stats like this in order to get a fair or even an interesting fight sequence. I know I keep talking about the Galactic Battles film, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description and even in the video. So that's it. Um, if you guys have any questions about where I got my factoids from, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Specifically, I got a lot of nerd books. Specifically, the Haynes Manual for the Millennium Falcon. That's where I got my details from there. And also a book that I've seemingly lost about the Enterprise. I'll link it in the description and you'll see exactly what it is. But it's a really good resource uh, for this kind of stuff. So, I don't know. I may be wrong. I have been uh, known to be wrong from time to time. Go ahead, subscribe, blah, 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 yada, yada. Like this video and comment. Tell me what you think. Am I wrong? Am I right? Are these factoids wrong? Or did I just read it upside down? Maybe I read it upside down. I could read it upside down and get all the facts wrong. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.